Charlie Crist, who used to be Florida's governor, wants that job back and is hard at work on the campaign trail. Today, the trail ran through Miami Beach, where Crist was accompanied by the mayor and other supporters. Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, has more from the newsroom. Michael. Eden, Janice, let's face it, nobody is thinking about the 22 2022 race for governor except the candidates. Today we saw candidate Charlie Crist. Nobody's better at pressing the flesh on the campaign trail than Charlie Crist. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, you get a lot of opportunity to learn a lot of good things, I hope. Today, Chris greeted voters on Lincoln Road with help from Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber. We work together across the aisle to make voting easier. This governor is working within one party to make voting harder. Governor DeSantis pushed a bill through that makes it harder to vote by mail. He also overturned mandatory mask ordinances in cities like Miami Beach. Nobody wants to be told they should be wearing a mask. No, nobody wants to be told that. But people had to, had to understand what was important for their own safety. Charlie Chris currently is a congressman as a Democrat. Before that, he was governor as a Republican, and he once ran for the Senate as an independent. Clearly, he is a political chameleon. I'm Nikki Freed, and I'm here to break the rigged system in Florida. Nikki Freed is also running for governor. She's younger, fresher, and the only Democrat holding statewide office. Congressman Nikki Freed essentially has said between the lines, Charlie Christ, yeah, he's served, but he's old news. He's passe. His time has come and gone. What is your answer to that? Uh, Joe Biden. Um, you know, that's the best illustration I can give of good, solid, steady leadership with experience that'll do the right thing. Good answer, but that question is going to be raised again and again, along with questions about Chris' party loyalty. Which party does he belong to? In the newsroom, Michael Putney, Local 10 News.